if you went back five years ago and went to any part of the world and talked to our people or talked to our clients, what they would say is, you guys aren't very good at technology. It's not just that you're not good, you're not paying attention, you're not investing, you don't seem to be that focused on it. Technology and digital capability feel a lot different today in CBRE than it felt three or four or five years ago. We decided that we were going to have very, very strong digital leadership in our company, as strong as the leadership in any other part of our company. Chandra built a new team for us. She knew where to go for talent, and she knew how to attract talent. She and her team have built technology roadmaps for every line of business in our company, and we are following those technology roadmaps extremely closely. Another thing that's happened, well, with the technology team we've built and the professionals that team has helped us attract, we've become more diverse, meaningfully more diverse. We want to invest in technology that impacts the outcomes we deliver to our clients, and it has to be commercial. If our digital strategy is not commercial, it won't be sustainable. And we are working really hard to use data to not just understand whether clients are happy or not, but whether we're actually delivering the outcomes that they were looking for. Technology today is embedded and mature in a good number of areas in our business. In fact, in some places, it's almost ubiquitous. It's out there and we've forgotten it's out there and don't get, take credit for that. We have an online listing platform in our capital markets business that we use extensively. We have 3D space visualization and space planning that we got when we acquired the company Florida. And by the way, we got some spectacular talent with that company. We have an energy management platform, a technology enabled energy management platform that we got through an acquisition. We do all kinds of location analytics today. On the office building side, we built a platform and on the retail side, we acquired a company form analytics that gives us that capability. The teams that attack this line of business. The processes we use, the tools we use, are barely recognizable today relative to where they were just a few years ago. Today, the teams that we put in front of our occupier and advisory transaction services clients are embedded with technologists and traditional professionals. We use predictive analytics to identify and evaluate location alternatives. We use data visualization to hone in on specific properties. We use 3D virtual reality to explore building stacking and test fits. We have a huge amount of interface with office occupiers. And because of that interface and because of what we know those clients want through that interface and because of what our technology team can do today, we're really engrossed in working on experience solutions for those clients. I think as it relates to space use experience, we're kind of at the Blackberry stage. And I think there's an iPhone somewhere out there around the corner or multiple iPhones and it won't be too long before we start seeing some of that. We're not where we're going to be and we're not where we want to be, but we've laid a good digital foundation. And by definition, once you lay a foundation, you can efficiently build. Hardware, software, data, and people are becoming comfortably integrated. And that's the opportunity I see for all of us.